Hello everybody, MD Polo here. Thank you for joining me. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Sig Sauer P365 X Macro TAC Ops. And yeah, that's a mouthful. But this is once again Sig Sauer taking a product and just going with it and um, the evolution of the original P365, which we all know what it is. We all know how disruptive it was to the market, how it was. I hate to use the word, but a game changer to the market when we were all used to and we thought the latest and greatest was the Glock 43. And if you're carrying six plus one, everybody was happy with that. Then eventually we started to get mag extensions because no, we weren't happy with that anymore. And out of nowhere, SIG comes out with a P365, not only a tremendously small gun for the time, but also a good shooter. It was accurate. It is accurate came with great night sights, all from the factory, and 10 plus 1. And that really was revolutionary. And then the market, as it does, it always catches up, it improvises, and we started to see a lot more options, and that market, segment of the market, got really, really saturated. And the ones that benefited from all that competition, of course, were the consumers. We did. I think it's um, Such00 that loves to say, we live in the golden age of firearms, and we really do. For the 2A community, we're really in a privileged position. So going back here to what we have in front of us, the P365 X Macro TAC Ops. The X Macro, uh, as you may know, is it's also pretty special because SIG, and by the way, this gun and all the guns you're going to see here today have been safety checked. And um, the X Macro, when it came out, it was the slide the length of the P365 XL, but it had a built-in comp it has a built-in compensator at the front. It's got some vent slots here in the front, and that's supposed to reduce the muscle flip, the felt recoil. I've never been a fan of devices like that, maybe out of ignorance, something I need to look into. But I thought to myself, it would be really cool if I just grab my P365 XL, which by the way has a longer barrel because the X macro with a vent with a compensator has the the barrel is the length of the P365. So the P365 XL barrel is longer. And I thought, okay, well, if I just buy the grip module because SIG makes them available, you can buy them from SIG, you can purchase the grip module and just have it mate with the P365 XL slide. And now I've got something that has a longer barrel and without the ports. Because, like I said, you can buy this, you can buy the mags. The mags are not inexpensive. I believe they're about $50 a piece, $55 a piece, something like that. Your mileage may vary depending where you are. But the beauty of this is that not only it stays very, very thin gun, I believe just a tad over an inch, but it gives you... 17 rounds. So, by the way, this is Fort Scott Munition, is my favorite carry ammo. But you've got 17 rounds, and I'm just waiting. In any minute, these are just going to start rolling off the table. You've got 17 plus 1, 18 capacity in a gun that is this thin. And I've said before, I've got medium sized hands. And this fits my hands perfect. The other thing you get with a TAC Ops version is the 17 round mags. You get four of them. So you get four mags with a TAC Ops package. So that's $200 worth of mags. Now the gun cost me, cost me about $812, $840, something like that. And, but, four mags. It comes with an extended slide stop, slide release, and it comes with an aluminum mag that you can remove. But for me, with my size hands, it actually makes my pinky, cradles my pinky really nice, and it, it fits me beautifully. The other thing, like, uh, you know, it's got the, the wonderful SIG night sights. Let the focus catch up front and rear, the day-night sights. It is also optics ready, 
as you can see here. And thankfully, SIG started to make these changes in the, in the recent models, is that now you can access the screws to remove the optic plate from the top. You no longer have to address, address them, access them through the bottom. And also, you retain your rear sight, which in the pre first models of the 365, 365XL, you lost that. So it has a lot of options. It's got a lot of things that come with it with the tax op package. And that's what attracted me to it. The grip feels perfect in my hand. 17 rounds plus one in a gun this thin. And I have been carrying this gun in Harry's holster, one of my favorite holster manufacturers from for years now. It's got the wedge in the back for comfort. It's got great metal clips. It's adjustable to your right height. And now, instead of having the claw to help push it into your body, it is all integrated. It is all part of the holster. The claw is part of the holster, as you can see here. And uh, it's got everything is rounded. All the edges are right rounded. It's very comfortable. It's not going to stick anywhere. And I wanted to thank Harry. He sent me this holster uh, for my testing. And it's just been very very com comfortable. So that's what I've been carrying it with and I have been carrying it because I'm doing a full review on this. Now I don't have 2,000 rounds through this gun yet. I only have about 150 rounds through it which is nothing. Mainly testing it for function, make sure that it that it works. But it's a very smooth shooter. It, like I said, I have a full grip with a 17, with a, with his longer grip for the 17 round capacity, the aluminum magwell just helps cradle everything together. You can take it off if you want, and as you can see here, it's just it's very nicely angled. So your mag changes, if that's what you're into, they're gonna it's gonna work very nicely. I'll let you walk around it a little bit. Now let me remove the ammo from the table because I know with what I'm going to do next, for sure, I'm going to knock these things all over the place. So give me a second. And as you know, I do all my videos in one take only. So you're not, since I do them all in one take only, there's no editing and cutting and splicing and all that. So I have to do it all at one time. So what I wanted to do is a size comparison. And hopefully this video will not take too long. But here I have, of course, an unloaded, Glock 17, and let's not worry about what's on it. But here we got a Glock 17, and it's got capacity of 17 plus 1. And here we got the P365 X Macro. I'm going to try to line them up. You can see the difference in sizes. Okay, it is even a little bit shorter, the, P, the P365. You can see how much longer the, the Glock is. But look at this, you can see how much thinner the X Macro is. Okay, Hope that, hopefully that's coming through okay. There it is. Now let's take a look at another with higher capacity. And this is the Walther PDP SD Pro. Now this one's got 18 plus one. And if you don't look at the threaded barrel and YouTube, it's all factory. That's the way the gun came from the factory. You can see the difference as well, not including the threaded barrel. You've got about a, an inch, about a finger's width up there, but you can also see the difference in sizes and the width of it. And again, the Walther has got one more round in it, as with a standard Max is 18 plus one but you can see the difference in sizes. Now, here's where it gets a little bit more dramatic. You saw that 
this P365 has got almost, it's got the same capacity as this much larger Glock 17 and also heavier Glock 17. But let's take a look at one of my all time favorite carry guns and that is going to be the HK VP9 SK. Now I have it right now with the larger of the mags. This one is 15. Okay, we got, it's got the sleeve on it, so it can take the mags. So this is 15 rounds versus 17. And it's almost the same size. You can see here. Focus catch up. The HK is optics ready as well. You can see they're almost the same length. Though this is the HK, it's going to be a little bit longer than the SIG. Those are the high knee night sights that I'm such a fan of on the Walther. I'm sorry, on the HK, both optics ready. But here you're going to see. Let me line them up a little bit for you. Here you're going to see how the SIG is still going to be substantially thinner than the HK. As far as a shooting experience, I still love this. If I had to pick one from the table between this and this, I would take the HK all day long. Another thing is that while I was carrying it, and like I said, I have been carrying this, using this as a carry gun, is the texture on the grip is wonderful. It's very aggressive, and it's, it's wonderful to shoot. Carrying it all day with a longer grip, I didn't experience that with the P365 or the P365XL, so I don't know if it's because there's more real estate here, but with a P365X macro and the TAC Ops as well, you got more real estate and it was really rubbing my tummy raw. So the skin on my, after I would say about three, four hours, if you're not wearing a t-shirt underneath your shirt, I started to feel this and it started to become uncomfortable. Another plus that you get from, with this model is you see the pin back here. See the focus will catch up. You just pop this pin out and it comes with replace, replaceable back straps. You would have to take the magwell off and it comes with replaceable back straps so you can tailor the grip more to your size. So overall it's a great offering from SIG. Gives you a lot of benefits and I think they've got a winner with this one. It's amazing how small they've gotten as far as the 17 round mags and I'm telling you I, I'm really enjoying shooting this and I'm really enjoying carrying it with Harry's holsters. So once again, everybody, thank you very much for stopping by. Please leave your comments below. It's my favorite part of this channel is my interaction with you. And please remember that I upload videos every Friday morning and when I can on Wednesday mornings as well. I'm very active on Instagram and there you can see what's coming down the pipeline to the channel way before it hits YouTube. So if you'd like to give me a follow there as well, I would appreciate it. YouTube tells me that about 80% of my viewers are not subscribed to the channel. We're on our way to 13,000 subscribers. I'm very thrilled about this, but I would really love to, cl to close the year at least at 15,000. My goal was 20, but 15,000 would be fantastic. So if you like what I do, you'd like to support the channel. It doesn't cost you anything. If you can click that subscribe button for me, it would be great. Once again, thank you very much for watching, and until the next time, God bless.